Hi guys, my name is Martin Bonney. I'm a lecturer at LaSalle College of the Arts. Welcome to my masterclass. The closet is more than just a space that stores your clothes. It is what is keeping your curated self. By that, what I mean is that all of the things that you're collecting, that you're putting together, you're consuming, you're buying, is stored there and it's a representation of who you are and how you present yourself to the world. We should take those conscious steps to think about that for a second on how we're communicating ourselves, what we want to say to the world around us, but also what we invite into that closet itself. Seeking purpose with your wardrobe, the first step is going to be dissecting that out, understanding those different categories of your life, the different stages of your life that you're entering into. That first is all about questioning your needs and wants at the moment, challenging yourself in where you go and what you're doing. The wardrobe is the reflection of you, meaning that it is all representing different aspects of your life. So it's your workwear, it's your representation of your fun, your personality, it's what you're projecting out there. Question what your wardrobe is made up of and then add to that in a conscious manner. Don't just grab stuff, see something that you really love, put it in the wardrobe. Look at the wardrobe first and then say to yourself, what do I need to complement this piece is? What's gonna to add to this wardrobe? What's gonna make me feel better? And how can I move myself in a more conscious way by adding to the things that you already have? Not everything has to be brand new and complimentary, but it really does help when you're putting together the curated self, when you're putting together a conscious representation of what makes you, your personality, and think about that in the different stages of your life. When you're going to work, when you're at home chilling out with your partner and loved one, or even when you're out doing exercise. All of these things are about collectively thinking about the unified wardrobe, the closet that represents the best you. Okay, with inside all of this, there's a massive topic of consumerism and being the consumer. When you enter into a shopping space, we have this fantastic sparkly lights. We also have the beautiful bags that everything gets wrapped up in and it makes you feel good. It's really easy just to be a mindless consumer. So what we've been talking about is really understanding those little lessons to slow down that so we do live a more conscious and more green, sustainable future. That is, you know, part of the message. However, with inside consumerism, we've also got to think about the things that are behind all of this behind the shops, the glamorous, the actual workers, the conditions that of human life, but also the waste, the landfills that are just filling up because of all of the mindless consumption that we enter into. So taking those steps to slow that down a little bit is really gonna enter into a better world in which we all live in. So try to make a positive message. So when we go through our wardrobe, you might find pieces in your wardrobe that perhaps the color's not quite the same, it's aged a little bit, fabric does that, it, you know, you're gonna be sun bleached, it might get sort of a little bit lumpy and bumbly, right? We will have all these little textures appearing on our knitwear. You know, garments age, right? They're not designed to last forever. But what you can do is take a step. I'm a textile designer. What I like to do is maybe do a bit of embroidery, re-dye it, change the color. These things are really simple techniques that you could easily do by going to an arts and craft shop. But by taking a little step, you bring a little bit of yourself into your wardrobe. What if you took something that was like this and you did a bit of tie-dyeing, a little bit of craft and arts, you entered into some painting, decorative things, could be a little bit of embroidery. Whatever you've got up your sleeve, whatever you can add to it, do it. It'll make it a little bit more personal. People will also love to talk about it. It becomes a talking piece. What engaged them with it and why are you wearing it? Right? It makes you a little bit more interesting. So guys, we must always remember that first and foremost, in any fashion conversation, we are consumers. We started out as consumers. As a designer, my first step into fashion was a consumer myself. So I like to buy, I like to shop, right? Let's all make those steps for a better self, a conscious self, for a better planet for tomorrow.